In our previous video, we studied the graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables. Today, in this video, we will see some examples based on the graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables and the behavior of the lines denoted by the pair of linear equations. Solve the given pair of linear equations using the graphical method. For the given pair of equations, in each equation, for the value of x, take the corresponding value of y and plot them on the graph paper to obtain two simple lines. You can see that these two lines are coincident lines. Can you tell what this means? This means that the pair of equations is a dependent, consistent pair. So this pair of linear equations will have infinite solutions. Now let's see another example. How many solutions can be there for the given pair of linear equations? 2x plus y equals to 6 and 4x plus 2y equal to 5. How will we find it? Can you find any relation between the coefficients and the constant terms of the given equations? Let's compare the equations with the general form of linear equations in two variables. We can see a1 is equal to 2, b1 is equal to 1, c1 is equal to minus 6, a2 is equal to 4, b2 is equal to 2, and C2 is equal to minus 5. We see that here A1 divided by A2 is equal to B1 divided by B2, but that is not equal to C1 divided by C2. In the previous video, we studied the behavior of the given lines of a pair of linear equations, according to which, we say that the given linear pair represents parallel lines which have no solution. Can you tell if the given pair of equations is consistent or inconsistent? Because this pair of linear equations does not have a solution, it is an inconsistent pair of linear equations. Today, in this video, we saw some examples based on the graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables and the behavior of the lines denoted by the pair of linear equations. In the next video, we will see a few common mistakes that can occur while solving these types of questions.